All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Rotors. Um, we're going to do a short explanation of exactly what is an apex seal. Um, now, a lot of people know it's a seal that goes on the tip of the triangle. I've, I've seen this. Um, essentially, this is your piston ring. Now, a piston ring is circled and it's made a little bit bigger. So you actually have to compress it into the piston and then the ring itself pushes out and holds seal against the cylinder wall. Well, an apex seal on a rotary isn't built that way. It requires these springs here. Now you got two springs for a two millimeter um, apex seal standard. Now, if you can see on the apex seal here, you have slots for the small spring and for the big spring. Now essentially, with the springs in there, and then the rotor itself, down inside here there's, as you can tell, it stops, it's not machined all the way down. The stop is to hold these springs. Now on this rotor here, I've already put two springs in. And that's what gives the tension for the apex seal. It's right on the housing to make contact, make contact for its sealing power. Now with an apex seal, if you guys are looking at getting RX-7, um, you'll notice that a lot of people are, who don't know rotaries, they'll say, oh, it, it's smoking. That's because the apex seals are getting wore out. Um, apex seals actually have nothing to do with oil or coolant inside the engine. Apex seal is mainly just here to seal the to seal the faces for the compression, combustion, exhaust, intake. Um, now, if you are looking at getting an RX-7 and they say that the apex seals are going out because it's smoking, either it's smoking because the water jackets are failing and it's burning coolant or you have these guys here which are called the oil control rings or oil scrapers is what some people call them now what these do is they actually have a spring behind them and they push out as well now this whole chamber inside the center of the rotor here's your bearing uh, this is full of oil and what these do is they stop the oil from getting past them into the combustion chamber. Um, but when these go bad, they actually have an oil control O-ring, which helps seals as well. But as you can see here, these are pretty flattened. Um, this happens over time. And what they do is it starts to let oil pass and it smokes and that's what causes the smoking. If it's blue or oil smoke, if it's white, most likely water jackets not apex seals okay now another one is a lot of people are like apex seal or boosting apex seals out um, not all apex seals break there are a lot of aftermarket companies that do pretty well with apex seals not breaking um, now the reason why mainly apex seals break is the fact that high mileage rotaries they eventually wear this down and the metal actually starts to get smaller and smaller and of course, if anybody knows, the smaller the metal is and the hotter it gets, the more brittle it just breaks and that's what they do. And when they do, they destroy everything. But aftermarket seals, they don't break, made out of much better material. And the fact that detonation leaning out is a big cause of it. Um, now, that, unlike a piston engine, the ring is actually low clearance and, and doesn't see much of the compression but on an apex seal, it sticks out about this much and it, the face of the seal or the side of the seal actually sees the, com the combustion and when it detonates, it's, it's very violent. Um, we're gonna show you some detonated rotors. Okay, now on a detonated rotor, um, the force is so violent that it's actually not igniting the fuel and the compression in the designated chamber, it's actually hit in the side of the face here and as you can see that's started to dent in the metal um, some detonation is so violent that it'll actually punch a hole through 
and then the oil on the inside will start to leak out. Now, when this punches in and dents it, the metal itself gets formed in, and when it gets formed in, it actually pulls the slot open. And when the slot pulls open, it allows for more combustion to hit the seal, and, and if it's detonating, it's definitely gonna break something. And when it does, it's the face of the seal that does all the sealing, which is the apex seal. All right, that's a basic understanding of the apex seal. Um, we have much more videos coming up. One is gonna be full detail of every single part and everything on exactly what it does inside the rotary engine. Um, thanks for watching our basic understanding of the apex seal and hope you watch another one. <laughs> that was terrible. That was terrible, okay. Let's try that again.